Hi, it's your coach Joe Lucas, and welcome to your Practice Power Daily Power Minute. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to June first, and I know for for a lot of you who've been with me for uh, since the beginning a couple of years ago. The first, normally I would get on your case about you know monthly game plans and everything like that, but I'm going to save that till Monday. Today, what I want to really talk to you about is, for lack of a better word, uh, time and task management or in my world, outcome management. See, I think a lot of advisors get caught up in thinking busy is good. You know, I'm really, I hear it all the time from some of my clients, you know, hey, how are things going on? I'm really, really busy. And usually when you're busy, you're on the verge of being overwhelmed. And once you hit that overwhelm state, what happens is you lose your resourcefulness. You go into panic mode. You go into crisis mode. You go into survival mode. Uh, you abandon your game plan. You abandon everything you're doing, and you become, for lack of a better term, a glorified assistant. There's nothing wrong with assistants. Trust me. But that's not your role. What we also have to remember is, you know, and look, there's a lot of efficiency experts out there. I'm a big fan of David Allen, you know, getting things done, GTD. But let's face it. If you're doing the wrong things and you're getting them done, yeah, it's nice getting through that task list, but you're missing the big boulders because you're playing with pebbles. And what you have to recognize is really a couple different things. Your core functions, what needs to be delegated to an assistant, and then what needs to be outsourced. Okay, there's really three boxes in my world. And I think a lot of times what happens is, look, most advisors, quite frankly, are not good delegators. They're not good managers. You know, we get into this industry, we get into this business because, you know, either we like the stock market or we like planning, we like to help people or hopefully a combination of all three. It's only until afterwards it really dawn on us, hey, look, i got to run a business here. i got staff. I don't care if you share part-time assistant with 10 other people. you got staff. You're one-tenth of a human being. And the reality is that, you know, a lot of advisors were ill-equipped for that. So what happens is that as your business progresses, you get to a point where you have to evolve. You know, you can't just keep doing it all yourself. You have to start trusting other human beings, other people. You have to start delegating. And that, for a lot of advisors, is a really hard time. Look, for myself personally, I struggled with it for years because I always felt I was always better than anybody else, and I would just get it done. And, and what happens is you, you, you become your, you know, the issue, or you will, the log jam to growing. You know, you become the anchor to your own success. So what I want you to think about this weekend, as you're hopefully getting some downtime, is, hey, think about are you evolving? Are you delegating? Are you getting outside your own comfort zone when you're dealing with tasks and projects and things like that? Are you willing to let the people around you fail within reason in order to grow? Very important. Now, lastly, for this, uh, for a brain food for the weekend, now, uh, like Fridays, because we, we kind of stretch things out, I have a, a video, it just so happens to be about some time management and task management uh, from my uh, mentor, uh, Tony Robbins, and that's about 20 minutes long, so there's a link there to it. And uh, you have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.